Hello everyone, welcome to Sidemi. You know that we have so many cloud providers, okay, in the market. So Amazon's cloud is AWS, Microsoft's cloud cloud is Azure, and uh, Google's cloud is GCP. So out of and apart from that, we have so many other cloud providers. Out of all these clouds, which cloud we should go with? Okay, so that we are going to discuss in this class. Okay. So if you observe this screen here, Gartner Magic Quadrant. So who is this Gartner? This is world's leading information technology research and advisory company. It does research. It provides it provides advices. So it does research in terms of cloud providers. If you observe this, uh, you know square. This got divided into four mini cubes. One is challengers. One is niche players. One is visionaries, and another one is leaders. In leaders box, you can see AWS occupied top position. Even though Microsoft is, you know, Azure is second position, we can see there is a huge gap. Okay, and GCP is not even Google's cloud is GCP. It is not even in leaders box. So what is the conclusion? See, AWS is in top position. That means most of the companies are using AWS. Probably that could be the reason that AWS is in top position. So that means all those companies are using AWS. Majority of the companies in the world are. Using AWS, so all those companies need you guys who are good at AWS. That's why compared to other clouds, right now in AWS we have more openings. Since majority of the companies are using AWS, all those companies need guys who are good at AWS. That's why we have we have huge openings compared to other clouds. I'm not saying that if you learn other cloud you won't get job. No, compared to other clouds we have many openings. Okay, that's the current situation as of now. Okay. so that's the conclusion you know we can you know get from this slide and few more reasons why we should go with aws that we are going to discuss in this slide you can see global you know market share aws occupied around 30 out of 100 if you combine remaining all cloud providers they are occupying 70 around so kind of same conclusion we have more openings here Second one is server capacity. Server capacity means physical infrastructure which is there in their data centers. Okay, as I said, AWS is keeping their physical infrastructure somewhere in the world. That physical infrastructure that is what we call server capacity. For example, here you can see six x x it is showing right. Same like AWS, other clouds also they are maintaining their physical infrastructure in their locations. So if you take all other cloud providers combinedly, they are having hundred servers. Only AWS is having 600 servers. In this hundred, you know GCP, you know Microsoft Azure might be having 40. GCP might be having 30. Combinedly, remaining all cloud providers might be having 30 physical servers in their data centers. Only AWS is having 600 physical servers. That means huge server capacity. Now you might be having notes. Why? Why we need to worry about this one? They are having. They are maintaining huge physical setup. That is good for them. Why we should care? See here, as I give it, as I given already one example. On the day of December twenty fifth, already I am having two servers. I need three more servers because of load. Same like you, everyone will demand for more servers on that day, special day, right? Whoever is maintaining websites. So if you go with other cloud providers. they may or may not provide servers because they because they have less server capacity but if you go with aws even though if you want you know any number of servers they can provide immediately because they have huge physical setup already that is readily available that's why they can provide immediately without any delay that's a conclusion so if you are a client if you are a owner of any company definitely you will think about this one okay because your web server your website should never go down Okay, ultimately that is what we are, you know, striving for, right? And third reason is flexible pricing. Okay, so compared to other clouds, AWS charges are less, comparatively less. That you can search in Google. Uh, that again, that depends. That you know, as per competition, market, and all, that depends upon so many parameters. As per, you know, market trend, you know, compared to other clouds, AWS charges are comparatively less. So I think these reasons are enough that we can say that we should go with. AWS. Okay, so in this slide you can see certifications. Compared to other certifications, AWS certifications are in demand most. Okay, so they occupy top positions. Okay, compared to other cloud certifications. 
So you can see these are my certifications which you can see on the screen. First one is Solutions Architect. Second one is Developer. Third one is Sysops Administrator. And these certifications are valid for three years. Okay. So I have given exam on March 8, 2018. That validity is till March 8, 2021. Why only three years? Because they keep on adding new syllabus. I know they change the syllabus. Adding new services, removing old services. That's the reason only for three years. After three years, I need to rewrite this exam. Okay. And here you can see the name. And uh, here you will get a unique validation number. So that whenever you show this certificate to your recruiter, first they will validate your certificate. Whether you are holding genuine certificate or not. Then only they will consider your certificate. Okay. Th these are the certifications. Compared to other certifications, these are the most demanding certifications. If you have these certifications, you will get more priority. Okay. Yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I hope this video helped you a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Till then, stay tuned and keep learning.